Don't do that. In Germany, we don't do that. In Germany. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Phoebe Way. If this is your first time, my name is Phoebe. On the Phoebe Way, we talk about life in Germany, how to settle to, in Germany, how to move to Germany legally, and how to basically integrate into the German system, okay? We talk about the good, bad, and ugly. And if there's anything you need to know about Germany, I'm your girl, I'm your plug, you already know. So if you have not yet subscribed, please do if you're interested in these topics. On today's video, we're going to talk about what you should not do in Germany, okay? Pay attention, don't do it, don't do it sis, don't do it bro. Let's get into the video. Number one of what you should not do, wear ugly socks. Listen, if you're invited to somebody's house, please, please wear socks that you can be proud of, wear socks that you can represent, that can represent you, wear socks that are just nice, okay? Because in German homes, when you're coming as a guest, when you get to the door, you mostly ask, oh, can you take off your shoes? Or they'll say in a nice way, I have house shoes for you. Okay, or they'll ask you, what's your shoe size? Will, the, will these fit? Because when you're coming in, especially in winter, you come in with snow, you come in with, with mud, whatever, you cannot enter people's house with these, okay? The floor in Germany is secret, all right? So make sure you have socks that you can show to other people, okay? That's number one. Number two, let's talk about get, getting around. If you're traveling with the train, Germany, most of the, um, actually, in Germany, you don't need a ticket to enter the train station like you do in Dubai or in some parts of the world. In Germany, the train station itself is open, okay? You can also get on the train without a ticket, but that should not mean that you shouldn't get a ticket. Before you get on the train, sometimes you see them on the platform, sometimes you see them above okay i'm gonna have a video play in here so you see them before you get to the platform most of the time or on the platform just go to the machines and get you a ticket you don't have any excuse not to get a ticket because the machines are actually in multiple languages okay they have multiple languages that they speak so please please get a ticket okay Because if you do Schwarzfahren, you pay at least 60 euros and it's also a criminal offense. It is also a criminal offense. So please do not do that. Talking about transport, if you want to drive on the Autobahn, please don't sleep on the left lane. Don't annoy people, okay? If you know you are a snail, if you know you are not, you are a turtle or a turtle or you're just not fast, please leave the fast lane for us, the racers. I beg you, okay? Because that is one of the few times, or probably the only time that if a car hits you from behind, it's your fault. Okay, so leave the left lane for the fast people. If you're a pedestrian, I have something for you too. No jaywalking, okay? If you're at the traffic and it says red, take your time. Wait for it, like wait for that little man to turn green. If you're getting bored, take a selfie like I do. <laughs> And then, no jaywalking, and also stay off the bike lane. Most of the time, you see that they are red or they're just um, demarcated that this is the bike lane. Please stay off of it because the cyclists, especially in Stuttgart, they don't have time, okay? They don't send. They are not friendly. They are in a hurry. That's why they took the bike, okay? So stay off that lane, else you'll be shouted at, you'll be yelled at, you'll be insulted. If you don't have the heart for that or if you care for your safety, Stay off the bike lane. There are also places that are for pedestrians only. And uh, that is such a place. Okay, so this whole place is only for pedestrians. There's another small sign over there. I don't know if you can see it. But basically, that's it. Traffic rules. Please don't go breaking traffic rules. Because there are cameras in Germany, right? that you think just observe the speed limits and all of that. No, they do more than that. They also observe you if you cross the red light. So don't cross the red lights because before you know it, welcome, red, welcome, red. And that's the color of the flash actually. It comes out, welcome, red. And after you've been caught by the speed camera, guys, you feel like you've been poured, 
like you've been given an ice bucket challenge like an ice bucket bath it is so humbling and that whole day you're not even going to try going fast but it, that, that harm has already been been have been caused you know the harm has already been done so don't over speed where necessary don't cross red lights it's no jaywalking don't do schwarzfarben please just stick to the transportation rules all right and you'll have your peace and then okay, let's talk about transport let's go back to visiting people so when you are invited by friends you are invited to a german home you are invited for a night of games you are invited for dinner please do not go empty-handed okay it's just something small maybe a box of chocolates um wine you know something to snack on if it's a night of games just don't show up empty it's considered as rude okay just appreciate the invitation in the first place okay so don't go anywhere empty-handed take your shoes off or even offer to take your shoes off okay uh -huh. now let's talk about birthdays from where I come from in Ghana, we love to wish people in advance. It shows your friend that my friends know my birthday. They know my birthday is coming up. And we even announced it like, this is my birth month. Yes, it's May, my birth month. I can't wait to turn a year older. But in Germany, no. No. This is probably the only time you're allowed to be late. <laughs> you don't have to be overly punctual for people's birthdays because it is believed that wishing somebody happy birthday in advance gives bad luck it brings bad luck so this in adibu in, in adibu in ghana means in advance do in adibu in adibu don't do that in germany we don't do that in germany we do not do in adibu okay keep your adibu for other places here we wait till that day preferably from uh, midnight from, of that day and then you have the whole day to wish the person or you wish a day later. It's better for you to wish a day later than a day too early. Uh -huh. Yeah. Talking about wishings and greetings. When you are shaking someone's hand in Germany. Keep eye contact. Simply keep eye contact. Because if you don't keep eye contact, it's considered rude, okay? And I see that with a lot of Africans. When we come here, we... Or I don't know why we are taught not to look people in the eye, especially when you're a kid, you don't look the adults in the eye or stuff. But here, be bold. Look. Look. And <laughs> for me, I'm like, yeah, there's so many eye colors. I just want to know what eye color you have, so. Okay? Shake the person's hand and keep eye contact. If you are at the gathering and they are um, having a toast, before you do the clink, 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 keep eye contact as well. Said that if you don't keep eye contact it means that you have not had sex in the past seven years so you don't want people to know about your sex life eye contact okay i'm giving you this for free i'm giving you all this for free mm -hmm. and then another thing police police do not call people after 10 p.m okay in some cases, not even after 8 p.m., but 10 p.m. should be the ultimate limit. Unless you are best best friends or best of friends. Anything before that, please do not do it, okay? Don't do it. It's considered as rude. And people will not even, um, some people will not even pick. I won't pick. I won't pick if you're not like that. Unless I know you, are, you have an emergency or something. But Germans are efficient people, okay? They wake up early to go to work and... People in my office come to work sometimes even before 7 a.m. So if I'm calling somebody like that after 9 p.m., it means I didn't even want to reach him in the first place, right? Because he should be winding down to rest. So why are you calling him that late? Don't do it. Also, do not be calling people when you know they are like family people. It's a family, it's a, it's a family man, it's a family woman, they have kids. Don't be calling during dinner time. Just respect people's routines, okay? Because they'll tell you, they'll pick up and tell you, I'll call you back later. They're not even going to listen to what you're saying. Okay, so make sure you know when to call. Another thing is, please, please, if you're new in Germany, don't go gossiping in, in English, thinking in Germany people don't understand German. I know it's easy to believe that people don't understand German because, um, <laughs> I know it's easy to believe people don't understand English because basically everywhere you go they expect you're expecting you to speak german you're expected you're expected to speak german for work 
you're expected to speak German for many other things, right? But please, please don't go speaking English about other people thinking they don't understand. They will understand and they will tell you off. I've seen so many memes in the past weeks, few weeks and I'm like, it's true. Germans would say, oh, my English is so bad, my English is so bad. And then when they start speaking English, they have more vocabulary than you. Okay? So, <laughs> I, I actually have a story in that. So my friend came to visit me from Norwich and she's Ghanaian. We were going, like we're on a tour in Basikheim where you see the, um, the wine area and where they make wine, where they plant the grapes and all of that. And I thought the river or the stream was from Neca. I was like, oh, that's the, the, the Neca that we see on the other side. It's on this side as well. And this German guy was like, no, that is not the Neca. That is the Ems. That's the Ems. Who called you? Who called you? Hmm? Who? Let me be my incompetent tour guide in peace. Okay? They will correct you. Okay? So if you're gossiping and the information is wrong, you'll be told off. If you are giving somebody wrong information, you'll be corrected as well. So even if it's English, just know that you will be corrected. In Germany, don't make unnecessary noise. Nobody needs it. Okay? Talking about when to do what? Sundays. Okay, respect the Sabbath. Do not be making unnecessary noise, drilling, vacuum cleaning, um, anything that is loud, basically. Loud music on Sundays. No, 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 no. Everybody is resting. You to rest. Everybody is keeping some, you to keep to yourself. Because they might warn you once, twice, but the third time they are calling the police because you are being a nuisance, okay? And <laughs> personally, I might not even tell you once or twice, or even for you to reach three. I'll just call the purple on you too, because if it was you, you would do the same. Mm -hmm. So I am not going to be that patient, because not everybody is that patient. So just don't even start the whole situation. Do not start it, please. No unnecessary noise on Sundays, and also during the weekdays from 10 p.m. as well. No unnecessary noise before 6 a.m. Please don't make any unnecessary noise. Um, if you have any construction work to do, do it between the hours of 6 and 10 p.m. And also sometimes when it's blue at sight, like when it's um, siesta time, some people are also quite, you know, strong on that. And then on siesta time between 1 and 3 p.m., please be quiet as well. So don't be too loud at the wrong hours. That is another thing. And then, I said last but not least, but I forgot one thing. Be punctual. Don't be late for everything. Nobody has time to wait for you like that, okay? Be punctual. Please, be punctual. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did. I did. <laughs> and yes, you had a new surrounding us. This is actually not so new. If you watched my video where we did um, the German word of the week some time back, this is where I was and I'm back. Yes, this is my my special filming room for my mother-in-law so I really enjoy filming here it gives me different energy total different energy so guys if you love this video if you want to see other video we've discussed the German passport or German citizenship we've discussed asylum in Germany we've discussed um, visas for different um, groups of people please go check all of them out if you love this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more from me and about life in Germany there's so, so much more that I have planned for you guys. So please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Should I give you a, a sneak peek of what we're going to be doing soon? Yeah, maybe I'll add a sneak peek. Maybe, 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 maybe. video, I just decided to come out and talk to you guys about my experience in Germany, how German has been treating me so far. Genau, basically, das ist mit dem nicht besprechen. Heute bin ich draußen, nicht ganz. Ich bin hier im Laden. Yeah, so take care of yourselves, guys. See you same time next Sunday. Yes, there's a new video every Sunday as well. Stay hopeful, stay positive, bleib zuversichtlich, bleib positiv. Passt gut auf euch auf. And see you on Sunday. Ciao!